Hello and welcome. I'm Fran and today I will be reading a very magical tale. Winnie the Witch. It is written by Corky Paul and Valerie Thomas. It's one of my favourite books because of all its magic. So without further ado, we've got our witch's hats and our wands to the ready. Let's begin. Winnie the Witch lived in a black house in the forest. The house was black on the outside and black on the inside. The carpets were black, the chairs were black, the bed was black, it had black sheets and black blankets. Even the bath was black. Can you see Winnie? There she is. Winnie lived in her black house with her cat, Wilbur. He was black too. And that is how the trouble began. Look, Winnie's reading a book too. And you can see Wilbur the cat. <laughs> When Wilbur sat on the chair with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. She could see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all. So she sat on him. Oh no, poor Wilbur. When Wilbur sat on the carpet with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. She could see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all. So she tripped over him. Oh no! One day, after a nasty fall, Winnie decided something had to be done. She picked up her magical wand and waved it once. And abracadabra! Wilbur was a black cat no longer. He was a bright green cat. Now, when Wilbur slept on the chair, Winnie could see him. When Wilbur slept on the floor, Winnie could see him. And she could see him when he slept on the bed. But Wilbur was not allowed to sleep on the bed. Oh dear! Winnie doesn't look too impressed. I wonder what will happen next. Do you have any ideas? Let's get on with the story. So, Winnie put him outside, outside in the grass. When Wilbur sat outside in the grass, Winnie couldn't see him even when his eyes were wide open. <gasps> Winnie came hurrying outside, tripped over Wilbur, <gasps> turned three somersaults and fell into the rose bush. <sighs> oh no. This time, Winnie was Furious! <gasps> Let's get our magic wands ready. She picked up her magic wand, waved it five times, and... Abracadabra! Wilbur had a red head, a yellow body, 
a pink tail, blue whiskers and four purple legs. <gasps> now Will Winnie could see Wilbur. When he sat on the chair, when he lay on the carpet, when he crawled into the grass and even when he climbed to the top of the tallest tree. Wilbur climbs to the top of the tallest tree to hide. He looked ridiculous and he knew it. Even the birds laughed at him. Oh no, poor Wilbur. Wilbur was miserable. He stayed at the top of the tree all day and all night. Oh. Next morning, Wilbur was still up the tree. Winnie was very worried. She loved Wilbur and hated him to be miserable. Then Winnie had an idea. She waved her magic wand. Abracadabra! Wilbur was a black cat once more. He came down the tree, purring. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen next. Winnie waved her wand again and again and again. <laughs> now instead of a black house, she had a yellow house with a red roof and a red door. The chairs were white with red and white cushions. The carpet was green with pink roses. The bed was blue with pink and white sheets and pink blankets. The bath was gleaming white. And now Winnie can see Wilbur no matter where he sits. I hope you enjoyed today's book of Winnie the Witch. What do you think could be the key messages and themes within the book? Perhaps it could be to love everyone, regardless of the way they look, or even if they might get on our nerves sometimes. Winnie really loved Wilbur, even though she would trip up over him. <laughs> Perhaps it could be that maybe our first idea might not always be the best, but we never give up. We always try again and again to find the right solution. And in the end, things will work out. Do you have a favorite part of the story? Could it be when Winnie waved her magic wand, abracadabra? <laughs> Do you have any pets at home? Perhaps you have a cat just like Wilbur. If you had magical powers, what would you do with them? Would you have a magical wand? Maybe you could fly. Anyway, I hope you have a very good morning, good afternoon. Good evening and good night. Keep well and remember to keep reading. Bye!